very, very, very frustrating. This man's saving my life right here. Okay, all right, man, I'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye. Morning, Ben. Morning. A little confusion yesterday with Chris from MM Crypto. He was like moving around. We usually do that video on Monday. We're doing it on Tuesday this week, so pretty good, uh, pretty good stuff. Love having him on and showing some TA. Bitcoin's been acting crazy lately, uh, so it'll be fun to have him on to give some technical analysis. T -t -t TJ. Uh, What's up, dude? So, 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 so I got home yesterday and realized I didn't have any power at my house. Are you, uh, oh my God, dude. Do you have water at least? Yeah, uh, no, so no power. No. So I didn't get to stay there yesterday. I had to stay somewhere else. But uh, okay. hopefully today I'll have power and water and officially be able to settle into my house. Yeah, yeah. This is advanced yeah. minimalism right now. Yes, yes. Advanced minimalism. <laughs> morning, Haley. Morning, Good morning, Nina. Good morning, Jasmine. So you mean to tell me that you wired them copious amounts of money and they said no? We wired the bank <clears throat> for our new building. $300,000 and they rejected it. So uh, probably because it's from Coinbase. It, the, the day and time that we live in is so insane where people will not allow you to spend your own money. It is insanity. So I knew it was going to be too easy. TJ, TJ said we could wire it from Coinbase. Coinbase says you can wire the money directly. Um, and, uh, you know, which... You know, it was pretty good. We converted some Bitcoin over to send it yesterday while the Bitcoin price was still up. But, yeah. you know, so we haven't lost money on it. But it's just it's just so incredibly stupid that, you know, these archaic banks are still trying to hold on to everything they can by making things difficult for the, us that are a new generation of money. Very, very, very frustrating. Oh, a wire. So, Mr. L. Ron means. You know, we have multiple services you know we keep on money services Ooh. bodily harm first services you know. that's good all like right all right yep, i need the whack a guy you can give you, okay whack a guy i can give you a good discount on that 50 percent <laughs> off you order right now <laughs> all right yeah yeah what he just said i need some trash disposal <laughs> if you know what i'm talking about some waste management some waste <laughs> management. Right. i got some waste i need dealt with we're gonna give you some exact price targets on the upside and one that you kind of see to believe on the downside. Let's just say, hope it doesn't go there. It's about a wolf. What's up, man? Thursday, thing, like, is it crooked on the camera? We're in here, and we're quiet. Because yeah. <laughs> they're recording. Okay, so, um, yeah. next Feel that we'll do, excitement. Um, Ben, do you have to have a disclaimer in every video that says that this is not financial advice? It's in the description. I mean, it's so stupid to think that, like, yeah. you know, people are going to think that I'm a Wall Street financial advisor. Like, the whole idea of that is asinine. So it's just more of those stupid archaic rules. There's no rule that you have to, on every video, say you're not a financial advisor. YouTubers overuse it, like, a lot, and it's real dumb. I bet. Yeah, because so you, you get sued, right? Yeah. I mean, In nobody's going to watch my videos and think I'm a financial advisor, obviously. Right, right. What, what have I ever said to make people think that I have an official degree in, like, being a financial advisor? Nothing. What up, please? Play, play what game? Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, cool. Yeah, with like dice, full on nerd, pocket protector. <laughs> we recorded audio for like a beta for like a season, and then we've been doing video for a season since when COVID happened. We're like, yeah. well, we gotta play online. Right. And that's like, well, we might as well record video. Right. And so, we've been, so you're all on like Zoom or something? Or? Uh, we use just Discord. Discord. What's the name of the podcast? Uh, you Might Die Tonight, D&D. It's on like uh, YouTube and Spotify, or? Our, our, our audio beta is on Spotify, and um, Buzzsprout is, I think, where we host it. Um, but then I'm, I'm editing the, the video portions right now, and they'll, they'll eventually go on YouTube. Uh, nice. But we've got probably 300, 400 hours of content. Wow. I got to do the thing. What's up, Steven? Good Love that shirt, man. You you rock the hell out of a Hawaiian shirt, my guy. Yeah, it's, not, it's definitely my go-to look. Do, hey, don't mind me. I'm not here. Yeah. You're not, oh, yeah, you're not even here. I'm just staring at you through, through a light. Yeah. I feel a lot of pressure. I feel a lot of pressure right now, but double camera it up on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty, pretty funny, man. <laughs> that was pretty good. God, I'm so dark, though. I guess that's fine. <laughs> okay, really. okay. We can show my Lambo, too. He no, said, like, my Lambo, it's yours. That's insane. <laughs> it's official. It is. Yeah, he's got the deposit on it. It's also like the coolest Lambo I've seen in a very long time. It's the most exclusive Lambo they ever made. Is that right? Now, look, there are other Lambos where they have like different, like the one he was showing me from the other place where they have collections, it's like a one at 36, but like, as a model, the Huracan STO is the most exclusive one they ever made. That one that's on the desk, what is that? Uh, that's, that's a Murcielago. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, 
Wow, Mike knows more about Lambos than we do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's practically 11 a.m. and I haven't said hey to Renzo yet. What is up? Man? What's up, dude? Best crypto games. Best crypto games? Yeah. Gotta get that sucker out quick. I'll leave you to it. I can't think straight. <laughs> uh, yeah, give me a clap. I'm not gonna give you the clap. Just go, just wave, like your, arms, wave your arms over But what if my stomach shows? Oh God, it did! Perfect, go. Welcome to Bitboy Crypto, the largest crypto channel in all the interwebs. So why do they just keep printing more and more and more money? because they don't have a choice. Like that's what I'll, that's the whole point of what I'm trying to say. Why did you get a stimulus? Because they have no choice but to just keep printing money at this point. When they stop printing money, the Ponzi scheme crumbles. This man's saving my life right here. What's up, Jim? Yeah, it happens. It's three months, six months, or a year, and then they're trading in for a new one by them. Really? Is it nobody keeps them? Really? Lambo? I'm keeping this one. He said they get it different. They want the news one. News one. Oh yeah. He said they lose like a hundred k every time on them. So Jim? Yes, Mike. I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm not mad. Sure. Where's the puppy? Uh oh, the puppy. Yeah, where's the puppy? The puppy is at the house. Because that's funny. Because Ben told me not to bring him every day. Ben! You do a lot of shopping, Ben? Shopping? Yeah, that's not what you did? Oh yeah, it's on TJ's car. Right. They didn't have that much good stuff. We were hoping to get like some cool Funko dolls and stuff. I got like a Night King and like a Ninja Turtle and uh, I got a Dundee Award. You know? <laughs> did you really? Yeah, so that's kind of cool. We like that. Um, did you go to Second and Trolls? Or? We did. They didn't have the most cool stuff. I thought they'd have. You know, it's, all, it's always like you go and then... You know, I just realized like I'm not as nerdy as other people, so a lot of the stuff yeah. doesn't really resonate with me. I like Game of Thrones, I like Ninja Turtles, I like Mario Brothers, you know. Yes. You did what now? <laughs> no, oh show, show the previous That's ones. So show the previous ones. So you see like She's wolf, so oh my wolf God. spider, and we, and we have a spider wolf. wolf. Spider. We got your Halloween costume ready months in advance. No, it's not a Halloween costume. It's a onesies Tuesday. We're starting back onesies Tuesday. Everybody wears. One uh, onesies on Tuesdays. I yes. don't have a onesie. You behind camera, nobody cares. Oh, there we go. Uh, the Revolut says it's frozen for fraud. Oh, it's my power. Awesome. Cobb EMC, hundred dollars. You gotta be kidding. Fraud. So I guess I probably still won't have power tonight. Get him some candles. This has been one of the biggest revelations about having a very successful business and making a lot of money is there's a very thin difference between being at absolute poverty and having all the money in the world. You can't spend your money either way. So, One, you don't have it, which, which sucks, I understand. The other one, you have it and you can't spend it and you know everybody treats you like you're homeless and you can't even get your power. So, it's great. It is great. Oof. Brushing your teeth, Ben? No, she said I'm supposed to suggestively swab this. Ew, that's gross. I'm you're doing a good job. Right. See you tomorrow, guys. Hey, hey, look. Bye, Nina. Wow, you made Nina leave. Oh my gosh. Here you go, Haley. Thanks. <laughs> All right, man, we'll see you. Bye. It's good, dude. I like that guy. He's a very level-headed guy, which is very hard to find in cryptocurrency because most of us are really out there, so. I could see that. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Why do you think so many people that are in crypto are really out there? Well, it's not, it's not just about in crypto. It's about a crypto YouTuber. So, you know, TJ always makes the joke that, like, everything I do is so dramatic. You know, like, I last night, like, swallowed some food down the wrong pipe, basically, a bowl of ground beef and you know I came in today and I said I literally almost died last night you know so it's like it's like you know you're driving on the road and you get to an intersection and like the lights yellow and you got to kind of slam on the brakes real quick and you're like I was almost in the biggest car accident in the history of the state of Georgia it's just how we talk you know so sometimes you get people that are more on the kind of research and analytical side of things like Alex and they're a little more even keel than the rest of us. So it's a different kind of, uh, you know, content, so.